Hello everyone, how are you today in the month of November 2021? Another video tutorial, your friendly lighting designer is at your service. In this video, I'll teach you how to make indoor parking lighting design using the Dialux Evo software step by step. Before we started let me give you a few quick tips about indoor parking lighting design. In general, 250 to 300 lux light level is sufficient at the entrance and the exit sections of the indoor parkings. At the other sections, 75 lux light level is sufficient. Although it is indoor lighting, it is required minimum IP65 protection class for lighting fixtures which are used in indoor parkings. Internally a surface mounted LED IP65 waterproof batten lights or linear lights are the most frequently recommended option. Many top LED lighting companies, including NBC Lighting, Philips, and others, provide this product. And now let me give you idea about typical general lighting layout. Below shows best practice lighting layout solution that can be applied to all car parks. Fittings centered in bays and between columns. Typically 7.2 meters to 7.5 meters center to center. And this is for entrance and exit. Daytime combination of type A and A1 fittings to deliver 300 lux. N nighttime type A1 fittings turned off through manual or time clock control. Type of fittings remain on to provide uniform light level across whole parking area. And this is for typical emergency scheme. Covered car park areas. Open area to 0.5 lux minimum. Please note indicative only. Actual design may change subject to ceiling height and bay layout. Step number one prepared AutoCAD file before importing to Dialux Evo. You should be familiar with basement parking CAD drawing, which is a large parking area with a ramp out. Step number two building and construction in Dialux Evo. To be able to develop structure, we first need to create a new project and then go to the new tab building. In this project of basement indoor parking the height ceiling is around 4 meter. Take note that in this section, you will learn how to create a room in the middle of the basement, which is important step. Just click the A New Outer Contour button. Step number 3 Learn how to create path walks and column of indoor parking inside Dialux Evo. We're going to make path walks and columns, so go to Furniture and Objects and look for Extrusion Body.
And now let me show you how to make another story by clicking Duplicate Story from Story and Building Construction tab. You can also pick or unselect or select certain of the room's parts, such as the window or door, and then them click Duplicate to apply. This step also is important because we're going to create the ramp out of basement parking area. We began by cutting out the ceiling from basement 1 to the first level of this building with the cutout tab. After that, go to the room's elements tab and click the ramp to make a ramp. Step number 4 Learn how to follow CAD file lighting layout Ask for drawing and input the parking lights luminaire inside Dialux Evo.
Step number 5 Learn how to improve 3D lighting design in Dialux Evo. And that's how we make a car indoor parking I hope you all learned something new today. If you enjoy my video and believe you will enjoy watching me here at Graphic Arc Lighting Design, please consider subscribing if you can and clicking the bell icon so you will not miss any future videos. Most importantly, if you post a comment with your query or suggestion, I will be able to respond to all of your concerns about my video tutorials. Thanks for watching see you in my next video.